Hi, this is Kim Emanuel again, and this is the third and final installment on our massage oil videos. I'm a little hoarse, I think I'm getting a cold, but uh, so just bear with me. So the first video we talked about massage oils a little bit and the commercial applications and how they make them. In the second video, we um, introduced our secret ingredient, um, Peruvian cacao, and, um, and it truly is magical. Now in this video, I'd like to almost I'd like to talk about how we bring the, the cacao and better oils together to make a great massage oil. So let's see, if you've ever had a massage, you know that the perfumes in massage oils can be absolutely overwhelming. So you want your massage oil not to be scented. Um, also, you'll notice that sometimes after your massage, they'll bring hot towels or you'll have to take a shower to get the greasiness off of you. That's because those oils don't absorb properly. They're mineral oils with big old molecules and they sit on top of your skin. And because they're not considered by your skin a nutrient, they don't really soak in really well. Um, these precipitate lots of skin problems. Um, back knee, for one, is exacerbated by you know commercial massage oils in general. Um, so let's see, what do you need in a massage oil? You need a nutrient base, you need no scent, you need a lot of vitamins and minerals. You wanna do benefit to your skin on the outside, just like the massage is doing benefit to your muscles on the inside. So what do we do? We take, we take Peruvian cacao, a superfood. We mix that with a collection of oils that have a balanced fatty acid profile, linoleic, alpha linoleic, gamma linoleic, palmic, menseric, steric, and a few others. Um, we put those together in a ratio that's actually very, very similar to what we do with our um, uh, uh, moisturizers. When you get this massage oil um, and you put it on, you'll notice right away that it has wonderful slip and glide. That's because it has a castor oil component and a jojoba component, not too much, just a little bit. It has a wonderful slip and glide. It allows you to manipulate the muscles, nourish the skin, and then afterwards, a few minutes after you finish, you'll notice that your skin gets silky smooth and soft. That's because the oils have gone in and made friends with your skin and um, actually doing you some benefit. Uh, and then the side benefit, and we talked about this before, we decided just to be a little bit naughty. It's one of the reasons that we use the Peruvian cacao. It's a bit of an aphrodisiac, which goes right in line with February and playfulness and a little bit of, a, a little bit of intimacy. Uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. I think it's glorious. Oh, by the way, I've been using this particular concoction for the last few months. Every massage therapist that I've gone to is absolutely flipped over it. So this is something that's pretty much world class. I, uh, if you have questions, as usual, please call me. My phone number's all over everything. <laughs> Thank you.